hello guys good morning you're welcome back to my channel yeah so guys things are gloriously different <laughs> say amen say amen guys um, if you're a christian say amen because things are gloriously different yeah that's the word for you today you know just take it as your word things are gloriously different for me for you for every one of us amen so guys um this is a day two days after the the valentine's day so yeah we had a pretty much simple day like i told you guys i, sh I already showed you things we bought and um later that evening we later went out because we had a a picture we wanted to snap for my mom-in-law's um photo book that my family wants to make so they told us to snap a picture so when i went to the mall previously with my husband that morning i we saw that they are people taking pictures so i said okay in the evening we'll come with the kids to take that picture so we did it hung out with the kids had some ice cream just moved around you know there's nothing that beats family time honestly i did not vlog because my phone in fact i don't like vlogging with my phone because i normally use i use an iphone and my laptop is a windows laptop so transferring the those to the thing is always a hustle for me so i don't vlog i'm planning to get a vlogging camera so help me god so if i get it i'll be vlogging more like all those activities yeah so however i told you guys that my eye started acting up after i had my my little baby so i had uh, my ophthalmologist appointment last year february and they gave me an appointment a year later so that's what i'm going to be doing today today i'm going for that ophthalmologist appointment to just check the eyes and everything ophthalmologist is not an optician of course i'm sure you guys know he's a doctor that specializes in eyes surgeries and all that because i was my eyes was paining me i saw the ophthalmologist after they did all the ct scans and everything it was fine but he asked me to go and get my glasses which i got from the optometrist so the ophthalmologist gave me another appointment like i told you guys i am going for all my checks i want to just use this general to go for all my checks i went for the other M M CT scan last two or three days ago and we thank god everything is fine so but as much as we know that everything is going to be fine or not it's better to just do your checks so that's what i'm doing i don't want to miss the appointment i want to do that check and you know see how the eyes inside the eyes is looking and yeah that's what i have to do today my my kids are all in school now my little baby that went to crutch is a really big relief for me guys honestly it's a really big relief i don't know if i'll carry you guys along honestly i don't like to vlog in such places that place is a very big center like you know it's it's not somewhere i don't I, I think i can vlog i may get one one or two clips if possible but that will be it so that's what i have to do today and when i went last week i said last week when i went the last time my eyes were like they will have to put something to dilate your eyes your pupil so that your eyes will bulge out they'll be able to see the back of inside of your eyes so i don't know if i can do any other thing i was supposed to finish and editing and post a video to the boy i don't know but first paint let me go now yes so guys at this point i got to my appointment and um i was just sitting at the reception here is the reception i was just sitting and waiting for the doctor because you wait for your turn the doctor goes to theater and um there are a lot of you know people there so i was just sitting and waiting for my turn and at this point they took me inside the test rooms where I was now waiting to for those things to be done on me for my eyes to be checked and all that these are the machines so after Stories. the eye scan I waited for my results I was just waiting for my results at this time then when my result came out um, I saw my result and I had to leave so that was how I went hello guys good evening welcome back to my channel like eh this spot is now my vlogging spot anyway so yesterday i loosened my hair and at a point that hair i made was not up to one month but at the point i was just bored mm -mm, i was just too bored so yeah i loosened it and i went to the salon i went to the salon to like my hair is grown now but i'll still cut it anyway i'll still cut it eventually but i went to the salon to make this hair for weeks yeah so today I went out today mm, what did i do today okay yes i went to see my ent doctor 
he did some scans that we needed to review but everything was fine so but we reviewed the scan what are you eating you eat anything you see look at her <laughs> mm, say hello say hello say hello say how are you fine say fine say fine no don't touch it say fine what is your name she just ate now and ran away she didn't want me to clean her mouth anyway so the whole kids are back from school so i went to the ent doctor reviewed the test results and yeah i'm back home i want to cook okra soup um yeah this is okra i already chopped it i want to cook the soup now i went to the tutorial to buy nigerian foodstuffs last two weeks mm -mm. this weekend i didn't vlog it because i was so tired we bought a lot of things so i bought this okra from pretoria and i want to cut it or oh, i've cut it now i want to cook it now my pot is already on the stove the meat and the fish i used to cook it so that's it how is everyone doing hope you are fine sometimes i'm eh? cooking i don't know i have okra soup but i don't know why i went to buy this okra honestly because i didn't need to buy it i'll just go and give jati a, a bath now whenever she comes back from crate i normally would bait her then yeah she'll be ready to go to bed pending when she eats her last meal when when she comes back from crate i feed her and bait her then she'll be ready in the evening she'll eat again if she wants to if not that'll be it the kids have eaten those start their homework soon and that's it anyway yeah that's the update i don't know i don't know how i look on this hair we call it shuku Jachi, come out from that place. She goes to own the dishwasher all the time. And I'm loading the dishwasher, so. Give me the mango. She likes mango a lot. She likes fruit, this child. What is it called? Say mango. Say mango. Mango. So, guys, I actually forgot I was vlogging. But, yeah, the okra soup is ready. I will just dish it out for the children right now. And that will be it for the night. So yeah, can't you see how yummy it's looking? <laughs> Sometimes you forget your vlogging, but anyway, yeah, it came out nice. Um, kids were distracting me and all that, and I had to attend to the little one because she was crying off and on. Yeah, but it was ready. Guys, good morning, guys. So this is the next day, and today I feel really good. <laughs> I feel good because I went to the gym today. Okay, yes, I went yesterday, and I went today like gym has a way of making you feel energetic so after going to the gym um today i decided to cook so yeah that's what i'm doing right now i'll just cook yeah i have a following in fact this my nails are stick on like i bought it from shin and i have had it for like four weeks now it doesn't want to go out it's just this one that is falling out actually i'm i've been taking it out i want to make do more stick on nails today for myself if i have the time but first of all i want to finish cooking my stew and then i go and edit my videos then if i have the time i'll make my nails in fact i will i can make my nails even if my kids are back or not it's so hot today you might be hearing the the fan out there it's so so hot here in rustenberg we have heat wave so it's so hot and i'm just on my boo, -boo. like this is the freest clothes you can wear as a nigerian honestly this is very free so i'm i'm wearing my boo boo and i'm cooking i'm just trying to cook my tomato because normally i'll cook my red bell pepper and tomato to dry up first and before i start making the stew this is the red bell pepper i bought it from victoria during the weekend yeah i took a lot from it and some tomatoes this is garden egg I've eaten some of it and I have to I'll eat this one later. So I blended this is pepper that I blended. I blended the pepper and and um and tomato. That's all I have here. Now the chicken eh, I don't want this thing to spoil my this thing. The chicken and um and fish. I don't know if you guys can see it is grilling in the oven. I'll be making it with the chicken and fish. That's 
all I have to do today and hopefully I'm able to also finish editing my videos before my girls come back really I've not been meeting all my target but I have other things to do that I've not been meeting and I'm not happy well, let me get this cooking because I've been cooking in the past how I many days I cooked soup yesterday also yes I cooked that okra soup you saw yesterday and now I'm cooking this hopefully I'll have a break for like one week of cooking this major meal because stew is something I hate cooking like stew and soup I don't like I don't mind cooking rice yam and other things but stew and soup so I'll have a break after cooking this then I'll have time to do other things that I planned out yeah so how is your day going guys hope you're having a productive February February is almost coming to an end at this point what yeah we move it's so hot like it's so hot so guys i'm about to start cooking my stew i just want to show you guys i know that i didn't know this before um zoom 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 so guys i, I just want to show you guys this avocado oil is the best cooking oil that i know right now and the dietitian like prescribed we like say prescribed or recommended it rather from this one is from who was i don't know why this thing doesn't want to zoom really sometimes this camera can just misbehave eh? this one is open although it's quite an expensive oil i won't lie but for lowering of the cholesterol and all those other illnesses you don't want avocado oil is the best so this is from hope cold pressed avocado oh it's expensive i don't know i think it's hundred and something rand or, or more but i try using it and it's better for me and my husband our health eh? and even the children the avocado oil this is the best oil right now of course it's not sponsored who was who sponsored i'm just you know plugging you guys i'm trying to say that since i say using this avocado oil I'm seeing the health benefits honestly. So I'm plugging you guys if olive oil is also good. Yesterday I came across a post where the that this dietitian I follow she was posting that olive oil and avocado oil is actually the best oil out there. So olive oils are for your maybe for your salads or eggs, things that you don't have to cook for a very long time but if you have to cook something for a very long time like the way we cook our nigerian stew or maybe you want to cook beef curry or whatever that will be cooked for a long time avocado oil is the best so if you live in south africa i only know words i don't know any other store that sells it if you know any other store that sells it please tell me i also want to i'm adding a lot because we add a lot when we cook our oh, Nigerian stew and it comes in 500 meals so yeah if you're battling with cholesterol or your parents or anybody you know is the best that can lower your cholesterol say that Olivia said it and come and testify later okay health care is much more expensive or if you have to go to the hospital or if you have to fall very sick is much much more expensive than some things so I have my three onions here this one is chalot chalot is um a tiny onions that has good flavor this red onion white onion i just put I think for this stew, I needed to add the sweet tomato sauce so that the sandy taste is good. Thank you. 
drop my two tomatoes. I've thrown away. Okay. And I like my wooden spoon because this gas can be very hot. It's been boiling for a while now, so I just added my bay leaves. And I'll let it cook some more. Then I'll pour in the tomato. The reason I'm doing this is because I already pre-cooked this tomato. Like you saw, tomato has a tangy taste. I don't like tangy taste. In fact, Nigerians, when we are cooking the, our stew, we make sure that the tangy taste of the tomato is gone. So, I'll have to cook this for a while more before. Maybe for say 15 minutes before I'll start adding my spices. So I have my gingers, those are my gingers and my garlic, this is definitely my stew, Nigerian stew, plus um, my pepper, my yellow pepper, I'm going to blend all of them right now here on the blender, then I'll pour it in the tomato that is cooking, it's cooking, it's still cooking, yeah. So in goes this pepper and ginger and garlic mix. In a go. Guys, I'm have to change the stem pots, but it's time to add the chicken. Add the chicken. And that's a clean. These are grilled chicken and fish. So that's what I'm doing and after adding the chicken and the fish of course the stew is ready I've added all the spice and all the herbs and all the everything this stew is literally ready at this point in time honestly so that's what I'm doing it's ready yes it's ready <laughs> I don't know why I'm speaking like this okay Guys, this stew is ready. 